start our own company, which we did. And um, I also decided to go back to college, figuring that um, if I were to ever need to get a job, I would only make a, you know not very much money unless I had a degree. So I went back to college for psychology. And I incorporated life experience into my um, learning. I had a huge desire to learn. Um, prior to that, when I was more um, fool-like, I didn't really um, see the value of, the, I mean, I liked school and everything, but I didn't value education um, for the sake of knowledge and learning and wisdom and all of that. But I really, um, I really started to have a thirst for knowledge. Um, and I could see the truth in the psychology that I was learning, especially Jung. I loved Jung. Um, and I could see the truth behind um, a lot of what I read in psychology. And I could take the truth and apply it to life. And to really learn how things work, how people work, how um, our experiences shape us into who we are. And I really loved that. So, um... I went a step further to um, use some of my own weaknesses um, as part of a research experiment to improve myself and to learn something um, hopefully that I could apply to my life um, for a positive outcome. Um, as a teenager and in my early 20s I had an eating disorder and um, I conducted an independent research project about that and actually I got a really good grade and I was invited to speak at um, a psychology conference but um, I really became all about um, knowledge and uh, learning to control the outcome of my life and I really believed that that was possible. I believed that I had the tools and the things at my fingertips that I could use and manipulate to make my life better and make a better life for my family and my children. And that's what the magician is all about. Um, I went to school not just for myself, but because I believed that in doing so, um, it would give me uh, a greater ability to take care of my family if I needed to. And everything that I did was for that type of a purpose. Um, when my husband's business uh, slowed down in the winter, I got a full-time secretarial job and I did what I needed to earn money. Um, I learned to budget, which I had never had to do. I had parents that uh, paid my credit card bills when I was a teenager and when I was early in my college years. But now I had to learn how to budget. I had to learn how to live within my means and survive. Um, and I did so very well. I was able to live off my husband's income and save whatever little money I made to um, put away for a rainy day. And um, I started to really live within um, particular formulas, ideas, principles, and um, apply the knowledge and the experience to making life better. And um, at that point is where something changed. Um, when I was 25, in really having faith in my magician ability, I made a very difficult decision, which um, to this day I don't know that I made the right one. Um, if I knew what I knew now, I know I would have made a different decision. I definitely know that. Um, if I could have had a crystal ball and seen into the future to see what my life would amount to after making the decision, I probably would not have. But at 25 years old, um, I decided to get a divorce. Not because um, my marriage was an unhappy one. It was pretty happy. It just, after being married, uh, let's see, four or five years, I think we were just going through kind of a lull, like a comfortable with each other stage. Things were not, you know, romantic and exciting anymore. Uh, we had two children that were two and four by that point. I was about to get my psychology degree.
degree and I think I started to experience like a boredom with life like a desire for something new fresh something more and um, because I had that idea that I had control over my my life and that I could use what I had to make it better I thought somehow that in achieving my degree I was graduating top of my class and I thought probably too much of my um, abilities I maybe had too much confidence in myself I thought that I could have better I thought I could do better I could make a better life and um I made the decision kind of on a spur of the moment. I just decided it, and I think I convinced myself that I was doing the right thing because um, my husband at the time had, um, had a secret that I didn't know about, and I found a stash of pornography. Um, I stayed with him a while after that and tried to get us help for it, because um, it was a problem that he had that I had no idea about, and I discovered this like hidden thing in the basement, and it really uh, took me for a loop, because having an eating disorder and having been praised my whole life for how beautiful and what a great body I had and all of that, I had a lot of insecurity regarding um, sexuality and being feeling always like a sex object and that my only value was in being a woman, a girl, and valued by a man. Um, I have always had been in this year's relationship from the time I was in puberty. I always had a boyfriend. Um, I didn't really ever date around. I always had a serious boyfriend. Um, every relationship I had pretty much lasted at least a year. And, um, felt that that's where my value was. So in having um, a husband, I believed that I should be the only thing that he looked at. And I had serious insecurities in finding out that he was, you know, sexually involved somewhere else. But um, now being older and more mature, I really honestly don't think that that's that big a deal. Um, it doesn't bother me now doesn't bother me. I'm not insecure at all. Um, now, in looking for a relationship, I would want to be with somebody that wants to be with me as a human being, as a person. Um, I believe that at that time, I was so immature that um, I needed the other person to kind of complete me and complete my happiness. And I used the other person like as a crutch in a way. Although I did love him, of course, he was my best friend in many ways. But um, until you love yourself, I really don't, I really believe what they say that until you love yourself, you can't love somebody else. Um, and now that I'm older, now that I don't have an eating disorder and I've come to accept the body that I'm in, um, even though it's not exactly healthy and it's a mess now after getting hit by a car, that's a whole nother story. Um, I believe I'm in a very, very different place. And hopefully someday I will find somebody who loves me for me. Maybe someday I will be able to share my life with somebody else. That is a discussion for the lover's card. And um, I was very surprised in reaching that card. Um, what I came up with. But, um, that will be for another video. But as far as the magician goes, I think my um, my uh, experience with him ended at around age 25 when I took this big leap of faith and decided to uh, start a new life again kind of thing. But when I did this, it was not with the idea um, or the energy of the fool at that point. So, um, 